What's good, YouTube? Yo, Duelist here. We got a silent swordsman deck profile. I never thought I'd see this before, but <laughs> going down and I fucking lost. So there we go. Let's get into this. Okay, start. Three of the new silent swordsmen. Best one, obviously. Pulls out whatever you need from the deck. Usually it's going to be level 7 because it's the biggest one. There are summoning conditions. I play two to level 3, although it's not great. I use it for mostly. Link plays, maybe going uh, going some links like his old, uh, comboed off with special summons from Instant Fusion and Spell Striker, and just to do stuff like that. And it's also good if you need to search just a warrior to summon the other Silent Swordsman. One level five, you never want to draw this, ever. But it's just good to have, just in case you do happen to level this up somehow. God forbid. Yeah. To level 7, sadly the one common version of my deck, Cry. Uh, perfect, ideally what you want to get off of your Sound Swordsman, the good one. Uh, just shows down spells, unfortunately doesn't destroy, but hey, what can you what can you expect from level monsters? Yeah. Uh, I play 2 as opposed to 1, just to make sure that I can always get that uh, Sound Swordsman effect off. 3, Charging Gaia the Fierce Knight. So my favorite interaction with this deck is oh, using okay. this with Silent this Swordsman. So years. you can normally summon this without tributing, <laughs> just as a 19. It doesn't matter because you tribute it off. Special summon this. And then since it was tributed, you can search the next big guy in the deck to BLS. So basically all the light monsters, a bunch of dark monsters, can't say no to that. And since it's searchable through this, more pros to play. Couple spell striker, uh, just good for getting some links off, getting uh, XCs, uh, or if I, God forbid, draw that one level five, tribute this, and if the opponent's under 600 or so, it's a spammy way to win. Two eater of millions, uh, dark monster. I can get into the graveyard quickly if, say, Link Kribo or something. Uh, good for uh, just getting rid of our opponent's big monsters. Couple DD Crow, uh, again something easy to get in the graveyard for BLS, and if the opponent's graveyard reliant, it's good just to disrupt their plays. Couple hand traps, because that's what I got. <laughs> Three Silent Sword Slash, because it's probably one of the best cards in the deck. Uh, making your monsters immune is just invaluable in this current metagame, and searching off of in the graveyard, especially when using Foolish Burial Goods, just make sure you get whatever Silent Sword Slash you need as soon as possible. Move. Couple instant fusion. So with this, I like to run these two. So warrior, just if I want to go into a Zold, a dark monster, I can get in the graveyard easily with Link Kribo to make sure I have something dark for a BLS, since I typically don't run too many darks in the main deck. Plus, it's usually that was nice as good strike for good bait for solemn strikes and whatnot. Just <laughs> a couple scapegoats because bore load. <laughs> yep. Generic warrior tech, which is good for grabbing BLS back from the graveyard. I like to see that you play warrior turning alive. I like that card in Heroes a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's good just in case you need a missing piece, say you have a swordsman and you need a Gaia, grab yeah. it back. You can go off your play because good cards. One heavy storm duster, I was playing two, is kind of too much at times because most decks don't play a lot of back row typically, other than say the Solemn Brigade which is the remainder of the deck, barring one strike, just uh, before, because with the instant fusions, two already, that's just a lot of life points going through one game if it drags on. Moving on to the extra deck, decodes generic link three, this is radiant, just good for scapegoat, and Gursu, uh, this option to go off scapegoat, uh, summoning two links, just, uh, summon this, tribute off the other scapegoat, just get rid of something. Two is old, another way to search BLS, easy to make with Spell Striker, Instant Confusion, Silent Swordsman, etc. Saruja, just in case I happen to get four monsters on the field, uh, yeah, just a good plus. Best link in the game, Underclock Taker, another dark and just good effect, gets two effect monsters in the graveyard. Yeah. Double Link Spider, just good for scapegoats. Proxy Dragon, same reason, along with Link Kribo, since I can get so many of my dark monsters. Uh, Eater of Millions or Thousand Eyes are Strike in the Grave. Borload, because... Dinner, Dylan, five turns. One Break Sword, my only XCs, uh, usually make it with either uh, Dragonus from Instant Fusion or Swords from Level 3 and Spell Striker. Just another dark that can get itself from the graveyard while clearing the opponent's field. And like I mentioned, these two guys. And that's it. How do you like the deck? 
it's a lot of fun. Silent Swordsman was just my original fanboy deck from the series, so I had to build it when new cards were announced. Yeah, uh, definitely. It's cool. I'm just trying to make it more faster because it's lacking pluses and just ways to go. Yeah, well, thank you so much for your profile. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Stay frosty, guys.